Hello everyone. Well, it's pneumatic time again today and this box suggests that the cleaner I'm going to show you in this video isn't part of the domestic lineup. Because it's boxed like this, it normally means that this comes from their commercial division. So without any further ado, let's open it and have a look. This one's taped up instead of glued down. Right, let's have a look. Now this is sold primarily to use for car valeting. Here's the instructions. It's model NVH200-1 and you can see it says valet pack. So, as I said, this is designed, oh there we go, there he is. This is designed for car valeting, car valeting, caravan valeting. But there's nothing to stop you buying it and using it in your home, providing you don't want to clean carpets and floors because this cleaner doesn't come with any wands or carpet and floor tool. But of course, you can easily get those if you want to turn this into a full domestic home use cleaner. So, the pack of small tools, very familiar standard pneumatic tools, dusting brush, crevice tool, got the upholstery nozzle with a slide on brush, and we've also got the little adapter that enables you to connect the tools directly to the end of the hose. But in this case, that's vital because as far as I know, this doesn't even have a curved handle. What it does have is an extra, extra long hose. It doesn't seem that much longer. It's obviously longer than a standard Henry or James, but it's longer so you can clean all the areas of a car easier. So there's further reach with that hose. I'll check on the length of the hose. I'll put all the details below the video. Um, it's over two meters, I think, anyway. Nothing else, because there's no floor nozzle. And here he is, and he's got a high visibility yellow cable. And we get two HEPA flow bags with this one. I assume there's one fitted as well. Extra large, extra strong pneumatic HEPA flows. Easy to buy as well, very cheap to buy, widely available. So it's basically a standard Henry bag that fits this. So here he is, but looks very like a James, but not branded James. It's branded pneumatic, but we do have the famous pneumatic smile. Looking closer at this pneumatic cleaner, I think he's a dumbed down version of a James. We don't seem to have the cord storage that the James has with the, the little hook to wrap the cord round. But we can put the cord, as you can see, in the recess on top of the machine. And, hmm, different to the James, we don't have the quick cord change. We can undo these two screws. Might have to undo the handle screw as well to access where the cord goes into the machine. But I'm pretty sure, I have got a newer James, I haven't shown him yet, but I'm pretty sure the newer James has the quick change cord. This one just has a little slot. Whoops, I'm banging him about, sorry about that. I can't call him anything because he's, he's, not, he's not got a name. Suggest so below what you think he should be called. We've got a slit in the back here. And that's basically, I think, for the cable. Cable just comes out of the back like that. As I said, this cleaner is designed for car valeters. So it's an ideal machine. If you just want to dry clean cars, get this really, because even if you want this to use in your home, if you're very proud of looking after your car, they're not very expensive. You could, you could spend more on a cordless handheld for your car than you will on this. So as long as you've got access to a mains socket near where your car is kept, you could get this machine and clean your car with him. So, as you can see, we've got a very bright colored cable and that's useful. In a commercial environment, they often make the cable easier to see. If this was standard, it would be black. But can you imagine if this was being used as a commercial cleaner in a hotel or even you know on a garage forecourt 
making the cable easy to see is a good idea because you don't want people missing it and tripping over it. So it's a nice length of cable. I'll check all the specifications. And we've got, of course, fitted UK plug. Let's plug him in. He's in the on position, so we'll turn him off while I plug the machine in. And we don't even have on this, there's no mains light, nothing. So we don't know he's actually plugged into the mains. But this is obviously been made at a reduced cost, so any deluxe features like a mains on light have been eliminated from this particular cleaner. Let's turn him on then. Yeah, he's certainly noisier than a domestic machine. I'm I don't know if he's noisier than a James. There's less sound insulation. Because the motor's here. With a Henry or a Hetty, you've got more, you know, obviously on the Henry Hetty, the cable reel is here. Um, and it's more enclosed, so they are quieter. So he's he's a little bit noisy. I suppose you wouldn't really notice if you're using him outside. We can access the bag, releasing the two clips. Here's the underside. Oh, it looks very old school. That's the older style. Can't see if I can... I can't detect any writing on the motor. I don't think. Nothing there. The wattage of this machine is 850 watts, but I'm sure the listing said this was 1100 watts, so I might have a word with the seller regarding that. But let's have a closer look at the rating sticker. Pneumatic International Limited model NVH200-1, 220 to 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz, 850 watts. It's 7.51 kilograms, and the serial number denotes that this machine was made in week 51, I think that is, of 2021. So it's a pretty new machine. So here we have the base of the cleaner with the standard filter. You don't really need high filtration. If you're using this outside the home for cleaning your car, it doesn't really matter that it doesn't have HEPA filtration because of course the exhaust air is being vented into the outside world. If you're sensitive to dust, if you've got allergies, then perhaps this isn't the type of machine you want in your home, although it's still better than many bagless machines because we still have the HEPA bag and this is a decent filter. But on this particular model, there's no exhaust filter. In fact, on most of the domestic Henry lineup, there's no exhaust filter unless you go for a Henry allergy. But still, the filtration on these machines is pretty good. I've used this type of cleaner for a long time and you can use them until they're very full. When you remove the bag, you'll often see that the bag container, the bin, is still very clean. So we can see we've got the bag fitted. Again, you just, to empty the bag, I always recommend, if it's very full, tilting the cleaner on its rear wheels, on his rear wheels, sorry, I always get that wrong, and just gently pulling away at the bag collar, closing off the top, taking out the full bag, dispose of that and put in a new one. So there you go inside. Just, it's standard fare. If you've seen my channel for a while, you'll know what the inside of these cleaners looks like. When you're inserting a new bag, fit it into the cleaner with the writing uppermost, and then you just take the bag collar here and push it in to the support tube inside the bin. Just push it on until it's in place like you can see. And then before putting the filter back, make sure the bag's tucked in and then the filter goes on top. Now, you can use this machine without the bag. If you're caught short of no bags and you desperately need to use the machine, it is possible to use this machine bagless, but this filter will get dirty very quickly. I would always use it with a bag. There's no excuse. The bags are easy to get hold of and relatively cheap. You get three bags with this machine, as I said, two spare, one fitted. So as you're using the machine, once you've used the first bag, it might be time to think about buying another pack of bags. So you've always got a good supply and they're very easy to get hold of. Some supermarkets sell them, Argos, many online retailers, including Amazon. 
and spare parts and tools for Henry type cleaners are very easy to get hold of as well. Very cheap to maintain and cheap to run. So there we go. He's got his filter in and I can place the motor. So this is really a very no frills machine that's just designed to do the job of valeting cars. So there he is now. He can smell better with his nose attached. And here's the end of the hose. It rotates. In fact, the hose rotates at the cleaner end and at the handle end. So you can actually, in theory, use, and in practice, use the hose end just like this, because you can see it's angled. So you can just grab the machine and you can clean a lot of things, in, especially in a car, just using the end of the hose because of the way it's been designed. But as you know, this machine doesn't come with a curved handle, wands, or carpet and floor nozzle. But where have I put them? We'll open up the bag of bits. So you can see them in more detail now. Crevice tool, probably the tool you'll use most when cleaning a car. That's the adapter piece. This nozzle is for your upholstery, your car carpeting, etc. But we do have a slide on brush. It's not a soft brush. I wouldn't class that as a dusting brush. It's stiffer brushes. So that would be used in conjunction with the upholstery nozzle. It slides on, it's a bit stiff. It is new, it should loosen up with use. With that brush on, you can agitate the carpeting in the car. If you've got any dried mud, anything more stubborn, you can loosen it with that and if the suction won't pick the loosened dirt up you just slide off the brush and I'm sure it'll pick everything up I wouldn't use that on upholstery although you can and it's soft enough but it's certainly stiffer than a dusting brush so I suppose yes on upholstery if you need to give them a bit of a, a groom you could use the brush as well but for things like your dashboard trim around the tops of your doors you know the wind where the windows are inside the glove box that sort of place you can use this although I have to say that feels pretty stiff seems a bit stiffer than a domestic one I assume it's the same but those bristles seem a little bit stiff to me but I mean if you go lightly you don't it might scratch very highly polished plastic surfaces but textured plastic that you find in cars, I'm sure that'd be fine to use. And to use them on the end of the hose, obviously you can see it doesn't fit on. You do need, do need to use that. But once that's fitted, you can leave this permanently on because if this machine is just for car valeting, there's no need or reason to take that off. And then you can just pop the tools. So you've got a nice short handle really. So that is ideal for the car because you can reach under the car seats easier. Some vacuums, especially some big bulky cordless machines, if they don't have a little hose with them, it's very hard to get under seats and in the nooks and crannies. But with this configuration, with the extra long hose and the fact that the tools fit directly on, this is ideal for car valeting and not expensive. If you're setting up a car valeting business, if you like to wash people's cars and obviously vacuum them out you're going to need a decent vacuum cleaner and i think this would fit the bill for many people for those of you interested in the specifications of this pneumatic cleaner he has a single stage motor it says 1100 watts 850 watt mean whatever that means the airflow is 42 liters per second he has a 9 litre capacity and weighs 6.6 .6 kilograms and the hose length is 2.9 metres so it's nearly a 3 metre length hose. Comes with a crevice nozzle, taper adapter, round dusting brush, upholstery suction nozzle and slide on brush for the upholstery nozzle. Although this cleaner doesn't have onboard tool storage you can put all the small tools on top of the motor unit. As I mentioned earlier, this cleaner doesn't come with any wands or floor tools, but you can easily buy them if you want to add them at a later date. I would always go for genuine pneumatic tools, but there are plenty of aftermarket tools and nozzles you can buy that will fit all pneumatic machines. So I'm just going to fit this curved wand. This is a genuine pneumatic part. It'll just fit onto the end of the hose 
take off the adapter first and then we've got two wands just push and twist and then we've got this carpet and floor nozzle so now we can turn a car valeting machine into a machine you can use in the shop or office of a garage or as I said you can use it in your home to clean carpets and hard floors you can also add of course a turbo nozzle to the end of the wand instead of a standard straight suction nozzle well I can't make a video of a car valeting vacuum cleaner unless I show you it valeting a car so that's what I'm going to do now so we'll take this pneumatic cleaner outside and we'll give the car a good clean Well, the pneumatic valet vac did a very good job at cleaning the car. Now, obviously what you've just seen is an edited version of the actual job I did. It took far longer than three minutes to thoroughly clean a large seven seater car, but it has done a very good job. You can increase the versatility of this machine even more by purchasing the car kit from myhenry.com. That consists of an extension hose, which will make this hose even longer, a long flexible crevice tool, 
and a small turbo brush which helps deal with in-ground dirt in your carpets and on your upholstery. But even with the standard nozzle with the brush, I was able to give the car a really good clean. It's noisier, I would have to say, quite a bit noisier than a standard Henry or Hetty and doesn't offer very many advantages over a standard Henry or Hetty for cleaning the car, especially if you buy a standard Henry or Hetty or James, you can buy the car clean kit, as I said, which turns it into a more versatile machine for cleaning the car with the extra length of hose. But if you want something, if you're setting up business or you've got an existing business and want to replace some of your vacuum cleaners, then this could be the way to go. As far as I know, you can probably buy it other places, but I bought this from eBay. I won't leave a link. I'm not affiliated with the seller, so I'm not going to leave a link, but you can search eBay yourself and you'll find this for sale if you want to buy one. If you have any comments or questions about this little pneumatic cleaner, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.